The inventor of the Nelson flying train first saw it in a dream he had when he was a high school student. Then many years later his son did this three-dimensional drawing of the train flying through rings and also did two animations of the train which give some idea of the speed at which it, which it moves. This made it move more towards reality and here is where the flying train has gotten to now in response to a contest in Paris looking for a new transport system. It's based on a modular aluminum section with 18 seats. You stack them together you have a fuselage. The doors open completely and all the chairs pivot so that you get on and off and get comfortable very quickly. Um, there's plenty of room inside. This is the upper deck. Notice the size of the windows. The lower deck, a little sunshine. And inside you discover this train has lots of seats despite its feather weight and lots of room between the seats. The trick is that we've offloaded all of the motive power. The wheels, see them here, are the propulsors under the train are not on the train. They're in the towers like this. Each tower has one propulsor and the train is always being pushed by three to ten different towers at once. When the train comes along the weight in the tower is dropped and is used to push the train. An ingenious way of uh, storing up power and the train can um, run more silently that way. The result looks something like this going through town. A, a plane that or a train that flies at about 5 meters, but it can go as high as 25 meters. Because of its extreme light weight, it can be suspended just on poles like these. And in a couple of turns, about 15 seconds, the flying train can go right over an eight-story building. And, of course, it's fun. Now, here's a, a station. Uh, in the station, the fuselages actually are waiting rooms, so there's no need to build a station. You just set an extra couple of trains up and you have your flying train station. Here's one set up, for example, in Paris at the Esplanade of La Défense. Nothing to it and uh, quite attractive. Now, for the United States, the inventors have proposed a network of 16,000 miles linking 47 major cities, it will cost 60 billion. Compare this with the 43 billion required simply for one single segment of train between Los Angeles and San Francisco. On the long routes we have this kind of couchette, seven foot bunks. So starting with a single module lightweight module and a very simple tower and propulsion system uh, you end up with a totally new form of transport, the Nelson flying train. A plane that can't crash and above all, extremely easy to build and implement.